What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Let's start by walking on the streets of Uchipata City. Yes. So this is one of the greatest places where we walked and I was excited to introduce it to my friend because here we are the three of us myself. Then we had Florence Uchipata YouTuber. And of course, Rachel from the US. We had nice time. And on a hot day, we thought of going round. And we found her favorite hotel in the city of Chipata. This is Protea Hotel. Also called down there, if you can see it, it said uh, Marriott Hotel. As Zame will say Marriott. She was, there's a way she was pronouncing it. Marriott. Marriott. So this is the best hotel in the city of Chipata. So I think this is the closest I've like zoomed it. So it is like the best hotel uh, in the city of Chipata. Well guys, as I'm winding up my stay in Chipata, I can say I've had great time with the people of Chipata. Good people, great culture. The hospitality is at another level. The tolerance levels in this place, non-crime area, very loving people. But the main objective of this video, guys, is just to show you a few things first on the street as we walk around and also to mainly ask the people of Chipata. You know, we just changed the government. Uh, it is uh, almost a month now that we changed government from President Ed Galungu, who lost the election, to President Hakainde Hichilema, who just won the election. It's almost exactly a month now. And I asked a few people of Chipata what they think about uh, President HH. Why President HH or Hakainde Hichilema? won the election instead of Edgar Lungu. For those who may not even know, Eastern Province, this is where Chipata is, this is where President Edgar Lungu uh, comes from to be specific. So that is what I have for you. So let me show you some of the places, guys. Then in this video, as you continue watching, then I have what the people of Chipata had to say. This is Gatoma. This is a, a company, guys, which is so common for selling motorbikes. If you have seen, there are too many motorbikes in Chipata. This is one of the, this is the biggest supplier of motorbikes in the city of Chipata. Now, my first interview is with a taxi driver. The one we had used here the other day. Uh, I had to ask him, why did you people of Chipata vote for somebody who comes from another region? I wanted to hear their opinion. Just hear this, then we go. What size? Huh? Oh, what size? Mongas, you see, wow. Mongas, you wow. I'm just going to see what you want to do. I'm going to see what you want to do. I'm going to see what you want to do. I'm going to see what you want to do. Very big difference. Yeah, I was saying we are talking about uh, Ed Galungu. You, you know that Ed Galungu, like he comes from this place. This is his region. And then H H comes from another region. Now his own people rejected him here. Imagine, he lost. Yes. Then I decided to go and ask some guys on the street who sell street foods uh, where I used to eat to eat regularly. I just wanted to go and hear their views, but we are going with my American friend and we were chatting. What's that, okay? Which one? <laughs> oh, the popo. No, it's a fruit. Called popo, papaya. Oh, papaya. Yeah, oh, that's papaya. Now, before I go to my next set of people I spoke to, I was just surprised the similarity between Chipata 
and uh, maybe Lusaka. In Chipata, what shocked me was uh, I thought Lusaka had many booths like this. I don't know, guys, where you are from your country. I just want to hear your comment. Please comment down below. Do you also have these booths which are too many on the street? Here, take a look. They were a lot. These places have made banking in Zambia to look like a joke because you can just use your mobile money, you can keep your money there, you can transfer it on the phone, you can receive money using this booth without entering the bank. Since these mobile transactions started taking place, guys, the banks are as good as working less than half the way they are operating. People deposit their money, they don't need to go to the bank. You can walk anywhere in Zambia when you, you drop off from any city like Chipata at any point. You can receive money from as little as even one dollar. So comment down below if you have this kind of boots in your country. There are mountains everywhere. I know that these mountains are the ones which connect the Kilimanjaro mountain, whatever in Tanzania, they are the same mountains they are connected. They are connected up to Tanzania, they go up to Kenya, these same mountains. Again they go on to Livingstone, they go to Zimbabwe, up to South Africa. They, this side they go up to Malawi. Just like behind this hill, that side is Malawi, it's not okay. that. Munavotera, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> 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 